Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. Early morning start, we got Sam with us. Oh yeah. We're gonna go out foraging and check the crab pot. So stay tuned, hopefully we can find a few bits to cook up along the way. It's Smash Fishing, woo! The good old Wellingtons. Wellington boots. Wellington boots. Just getting the foraging hooks out. We're gonna have a look under a few boulders as well, see what creatures we can find. And hopefully we get a larry or a few lady crabs in the pot to eat, eh mate? Big we crabs. hungry. <laughs> Nice size Venus clam right there. Got a bit of growth on it. We're finding more and more cockles on this beach. And then you get the odd few clams as well. And sometimes you get the giant Dossinia clam and they taste amazing. There's a lot of little creatures in this one. There's a velvet swimming crab. And we've got the common shore crab. That could be a peeler, that one. I'll check that. And this right here, if I can get it, slimy things, and they're hard to grab. <laughs> there we go. That right there is the butterfish. That's not a bad size one, that either. Looks just like an eel. I love the I love the look on the face. It looks very similar to the monkey face eel that they get in the US. Cool though. They don't really get a huge amount bigger than that. What you found? Oh, that's a pistol shrimp. That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah, they come in all different sort of uh, colours as well. You get them bright red, bright pink, bright green. That was more like a burgundy colour, eh? Yeah. And they've usually got two big claws at the front. There's an exantho crab. You get a lot of different species of the exanthos. Oh, there it is. And they bite as well, these things. Paint that's top a gelatinous shell. scale worm. Paint and top shell. Oh, yeah. Really pretty one there. Yeah. Very nice. And see Matt. Go find those creatures, Sam. Nothing. Lady crab there. Where? Sir. Oh, it's a good size one. Lovely size lady crab there. I'll give him a quick measure. Look at that, that's in about 10 mil. That's a lovely size lady. We get that in the bag, ready for the cook. It's right here, guys. This is the top knot. And these go considerably bigger than this. It's awesome to see their bellies. You can see all of the insides because they're quite translucent. Cool to see. <laughs> Sam's turn. Oh, my turn. Will there be a Larry Lobster in the crab pot? <laughs> this is out of 24 hour soak. So fingers crossed, she's heavy. Come on, Larry's, where are you? Oh, I see, I see some legs. In that a shanker a spider but hey we got something shanker and a spider crab no keepers there you go guys that's an old shanker look at the barnacles on it loads eh? yeah covered in them nice to see though what else we got there there we go little spider crab <laughs> we get these back Get the pot out, and then we're back foraging. Hopefully, we'll find something cool to eat. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> Hello, yeah. there. One more shanker. It's not bad going this pot since it's, it's only been out two days, eh? Yeah. We've had a lobster and uh, a few bits out of it. Hopefully, we can get a monster soon. Got us, Sam. Um, big fro. It's heavy, eh? <laughs> She's in there. Huh? That's a huge one. Star Ascidian. Yeah. It? That's the Star Ascidian, guys. Look at the size of that one. There's another form of sea mat there. I'm not sure what that one is. And it's sort of merged together. You can always tell these were well, the little white stars. And some of this can be orange. It can be different colors. 
but for the most part it's usually this sort of color the purplish brown color nice find that sir yeah it's pretty yeah that's wicked pretty size of that it's a lovely size brown crab look at that just out of the minimum size that one's just peeled that's a female brown crab that Lovely size one, nonetheless. We've seen it just under this rock. Some huge holes under here, so we're just gonna have a little check around. So there you go guys, we're gonna put it back now. No lobsters under there. But nice to find brown crabs that big under here. We don't usually find them on this beach, like not like that. So it's handy to see. What we got here guys, this is Haliotis tubercolata. This is the green orma or abalone. Yeah, he doesn't like being tickled. <laughs> tickle, tickle. Uh, these are out of season, so we can't take any of these till January. Uh, it's very illegal to do so. So uh, yeah, don't do it, but it's nice to admire them. So uh, it's always fun to see. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> size of this lady crab size of that that's a beast what a chunk hey eh? i thought it was a lobster for a second it was splashing around in the back pool there that one's going to go in the bag that'll be cooked up beautiful uh, check around in here now hopefully we'll find something else We went out last night guys and uh, I've got a bit of footage of a bass that we netted and uh, Sam caught a nice wrasse as well so we'll play that footage now and we'll meet you back. Yeah boy! <laughs> I got one! <laughs> nice! That's a lovely little fish that. About a three pound bass here guys. Go. This ain't a bad one at all. Good job with this long net. Check that out. Lovely bass in a shrimp net again. Not as big as the eight pounder. What you give that three and a half four? Yeah, definitely three and a half. Three and a half, I reckon. What a cracking little fish. Hell yeah, we're gonna let this one go. Hopefully, we can find another one a bit smaller and we'll do a catch and cook with it. But look at that. What an absolute diamond. Beautiful fish. There you go, one more show. What an absolute beast. We're trying to do the best we can with the weather at the moment. That wind's absolutely crazy. Look at that, straight back down in the weed. Woohoo! Let's go get some more. Sam here. Lovely little green wrasse there. Bright green, eh? Yeah, I love to see them. Look how bright that is. And when they grow older, they go bright red, all different sorts of colours. Let's get her back. Find some stuff here, eh, mate? Yeah, it's cool. We're at the dead man now. Hopefully. <gasps> There's something under it. Oh, I love dumping, man. Yeah! <laughs> Every time we come here, eh? Big male as well. Oh, that's going to be close in. No way. I reckon it's in. We just went round about 40 holes at the back there trying to find a lobster. We're like, oh, we'll go to the old dead man where we found him before and shabam, we got one, baby. Woohoo! Look at that. Smack on the money, that lobster. <laughs> just check it the other side. Come here, you little bugger. That is, our, our gauges are three mil over the legal size limit as well. So that one there is literally touching legal size. So there we go, we're gonna cook this little bad boy. Hell yeah. Check this out guys. You can see where the lobster's lost its claw before and it's growing it back. Tiny little claw there. <laughs> awesome to see. I can't believe we actually got a keeper, that's mental. Like I say, you got a measure from the back of the eye socket to the back of the carapace. And this is like, this is, dead on what you can actually take this see look perfectly on it and like i said our, our gauges are a bit over so we know this one's definitely in beautiful 
Let's go flip the other ones out. Fresh old lobster for tea, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast, eh? Very quick. Crap. There it is. Where? It's right in front of you. Where? In that little bit of weed in front of you. Here? Yeah. Oh, get him, fam! Get him! <laughs> yeah, boy! Yeah, boy. <laughs> he got him. Got it? Yeah. There you go, guys. That's a conga eel. Very small one. Looks like he wants to bite me, but we'll let him go before the seagulls get him. <laughs> we were chasing him around, eh? And he's off. It's right here, guys. That's a Pacific oyster. Starting to find more and more on this beach. Be good if they could populate a bit, because then me and Sam can eat them. <laughs> Another good size oyster there. But hey, we're keeping an eye on where they are so then in the future we can come and eat them. It's quite fresh on this beach, but I wouldn't recommend uh, eating any sort of bivalve at the moment because there's algae plumes going to be coming through. So uh, lobsters and crabs are strictly on the menu. We're going to leave this beach now, guys. We're going to head to another one and hopefully. We can get to the lobster holes before that tide comes up. Fingers crossed we can get a lobster each, eh mate? Yeah, hopefully mate. I'm chuffed that we've even got one. <laughs> it's like a field of green round here. Check that out. That's mad, eh? Yeah, loads of it. I love summer like this. It's not very good for fishing, but it's, it's nice to see. Brings a bit of colour on the beaches. Good old Sam. Oh, what's that? It's a measuring tape. Oh, I thought it was a bit of rubbish. Look at that. That's wicked. That's handy, that. Eh? Stick it in your fishing bag, mate. Too right, I will. Yeah, because if we get a legal size uh, conga one time, that's a bit gut hooked. Booyah, catch and cook. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Some beautiful beaches around Guernsey. I love to see all the little boats. That's what Guernsey's all about. Completely different beach now. But what we're going to do is just quickly go around, see if we can find any more lady crabs. We wouldn't mind a couple more just for the cook up. We wanted, we thought we were planning today. Yeah. Here's a bit of a bit of lady crab cook, and then we're going to come up on the coast and then get some fresh veggies. Hell yeah! Go on, get those seagulls. <laughs> We are now on the lobster grounds. It's a massive boulder bed. And usually we walk around the rocks here and uh, you'll see the dugout holes from the different crabs and stuff. Oh, there's a Venus clam there. There's a different sea anemones there. Oh, that's a sea squirt. And that there, there's another form of lobster. That's the squat lobster. Really common. They got a relative called the spiny squat lobster as well. Awesome. Big old lobster hole down here, guys. Little baby lady crab in it. No lobsters though. <laughs> Those little fish in there, eh? Yeah. What's that? Oh, look. Another butterfish there. Don't usually find them on this beach. And we've got common gobies here. That for a Zampho crab. Nice colours. Those are different species. I always like seeing the butterfish. <laughs> Slimy. Conga! Conga! No lobster. That guys, it's a lot bigger than the one we found before. <laughs> oh, 
Come here, buddy. There you go. That's a conga eel. We like to catch them about four or five foot long. <laughs> it's only a little one, this. But they're great to find. And they are strong. Come here. There we go. One little last show, and then we're putting back in this hole. <laughs> and you find congas exactly where the lobsters live. And uh, it's quite often that we find it's quite often that we find a, a lobster in the same hole as a conger eel. Uh, we don't know why that they stay there together, but um, I'm in trouble with this one. <laughs> but yeah, we don't know why they stay together, but it must be some sort of relationship that works. Come here. There we go. Get in there. There we go. Straight back home. What's under this one? Nice old brown crab there. There's some more of those little, uh, those little pistol shrimps. I believe they're pistol shrimps, I'm too sure. Oh, small clingfish, he's gone. Got a nice location here, guys. We've got our Larry Lobster and we've got our Lady Crabs. We've got one hell of a view as well. So what we're gonna do, Really simple cook today. I'm gonna get the stove on, get the pot on. How we're gonna cook these? Really simple. We just got some water, and we're gonna put about half an inch in the bottom of the pan. Beautiful. Then we got the good old garlic salt. We'll get a good dollop of that in there. And that's all we're gonna boil these up with. It's just a simple little mix like that. And what we got is our lobster here. And we always like to dispatch our lobsters before we eat them or put them in the pot. And there's a cross on the top of the head here. You go straight down and towards the head. And that kills the lobster outright. There might be a few nerves and stuff, but at least it's a lot more humane and it's not thrashing around in the pot. And with the lady crabs, I just like to get the butt of my knife and then where in between the eyes just like that just crush it because the meat is all in the side of here and in the legs and the claws so we get the other one done we get cooking we got our water up to a nice little roll and boil there now so we got larry lobster and get him in beautiful keep him on the side there you see there's a few nerves in the pot but that that lobster is well and truly gone now then we got the good old crabs and there we go in as well and we we'll give this probably a good eight minutes cook and then we'll be eating good. Beautiful. You can tell when the seafood's that fresh when it's still moving. <laughs> and these are completely gone now as well. These have been dispatched. They, uh, it's all just nerves. It's interesting to see all the nerves twitching as they cook. Can't beat a view like that. <laughs> we're knackered, we were out all last night, eh mate? Yeah, I know, all today. We were all out all last night, all today. We're feeling tired now. We, we were just saying we could happily go for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but we got our lobster cooking. She's looking good. How's she smelling? She's smelling delicious. Oh yeah. Nearly ready to eat now, guys. It's been about seven minutes they've been boiling in there. It's smelling delicious. It's about time we had a lobster, eh, mate? Yeah, it's been a while, eh? We've been looking forward to one. Yeah, it's not the biggest lobster in the world, but hey ho, it's gonna taste good all the same. Wow, looking forward to this. We oh. gotta do it. We gotta do it, ready? <laughs> Every time, what? I feel guilty. <laughs> no, it's fine. 
All right. You have the claw. You want you you got it fair and square anyway. So All right, fair enough. I'm going straight for the tail. <laughs> Fresh lobster meat, guys. You can't beat that. Oh, just looks amazing. And we've got the garlic juice here as well. Get it in there. Mmm. Always miss lobster. Can't go wrong with that, eh, mate? Can't go wrong with lobster, no. Mm. That lobster was packed, eh? Yeah. Like we said before, this isn't the biggest lobster in the world, but legal size, plenty of meat. Could have done with one each. Definitely. That would have been. A, that would have made it a lot better. But yeah, can't complain. Is what it is, eh? Oh, nice chunks. Oh, that's good. That's lovely, eh? We always go quiet when we start eating lobster. Mm. Plenty of meat in the claws as well, guys. I actually prefer the tail meat because it's a lot tougher. But uh, it's still all good. Take that piece out. And you'll be left with... <laughs> <laughs> we have a juice all over south. <laughs> Beautiful. Just wiggle it out. And there you go. Lovely, nice piece of claw meat there. Bit of garlic sauce. Straight in the gnashes, baby. Mmm. Kind of lady crab for a while as well. Yeah, because that was the plan originally, eh? We were going to get a few lady crabs, do a bit of a cook with them. Then we ended up finding that lobster, so we went on a mission, eh? We're going to try and find another one, but we couldn't do that. Yeah, that's it. With lady crabs, they're quite fiddly, but they are really nice to eat. Delicious. <coughs> Very similar to spider crab, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's got a, that sweetness. That's a very good comparison that. There we go. Like a little drumstick. Mmm. They're so sweet. Mm. That's what makes these so appealing. They are quite fiddly to pick and stuff, but it's that sweetness. And with the legs, same as a lobster, if you just squeeze it one end to the other. And all of the meat would just pop out, and then you take it out and you can eat it like that. Yum. And inside the body here, guys, same as any other crab, you take the gut sack out the back, and what you can do is crack the crab, take away all of the gills, or the dead man's fingers, if you want to call them that, and inside here is where all the meat is. And you can slowly just pick through it, and eat the meat. That inside meat is it's definitely the sweetest part of the crab. Mm. Mm. Nice forage. I'm so happy we finally got a lobster. Yeah, I know. We've been hunting for them because we just haven't had very good tides at the moment. So the lobsters have been few and far between in the high up holes. But as soon as those really big tides come, we'll be out in force. Definitely. <laughs> so I won't leave you any longer, guys. We're going to finish off our meal now. Sam's trying to get every little dreg of lobster he can. Definitely. <laughs> but, excuse me. So if you like my channel, like and subscribe. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, the link's always in the description, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It's smash fishing. Woo! That body meat's lovely. Fiddly, but really good. But it's not something that, like, if you're gonna make crab cakes to go get, but, but if you if you just wanna sit there and pick some crab, you know? Oh yeah, for sure. That's what I do.
little spider crab there. Find loads of these on the lower edge of the tide. We're in a massive weed bed at the moment. And we are hunting for those elusive bass or a cheeky lobster.